so the next points from the same chapter are essential principles of method transfer and the interlaboratory qualification that is ilq processes see in first lecture of validation in few days later we have seen the definition of validation method transfer and some definitions in first lecture then in the last lecture we have seen what is mean by validation requirements for validation how validation can be performed and then validation protocol is prepared then the approval to this validation and last means validation report so various points we have already seen and last two points from the same chapter are here then our chapter is covered so see objectives of a method transfer this is the first point objective is to ensure that the receiving laboratory is well trained qualified to run the method in question and gets the same results within experimental error as the initiating laboratory see we have two laboratories one is developed laboratory and second one is a developing laboratory see there is a dis difference in developed and developing laboratory so see suppose there is a new college they have to build a new lab so there is a requirement of a lab water and chemicals and each and everything apparatus should be there instrument should be there chemical should be there a expert analyst should be there so these are the main requirements to qualify a new laboratory so see the new laboratory which is a developing laboratory this is called as a receiving laboratory and the initiating laboratory or already developed laboratory who transfers the procedure from one lab to the another lab this is called as a method transfer so the accepting laboratory or the receiving laboratory is well trained and qualified to run the method in question and it will get same results as the initial laboratory then the development and validation of robust methods and strict adherence to well documented standard operating procedures is the best way to ensure the ultimate success of the method means development and the validation of a method and method should be unchanged and strict adherence to well documented standard operating procedures is the best way to ensure that the success of the method then this installment of validation viewpoint examines the analytical method transfer method transfer process including protocol documentation and some possible chromatographic methods or pitfalls to avoid so by the validation view point it can be examined that the analytical method transfer process includes protocols documentation and some possible chromatographic pitfalls then in a regulated environment it's the rare for the laboratory that develops and validates a method to perform routine sample testing so in a regular environment there is a rare case a laboratory which can develops and validates method to perform routine sample testing instead was developed and validated methods commonly are transferred to another laboratory for implementation means initially method is developed and it can be validated then and then only this method can be transferred from the sending laboratory to the receiving laboratory or initial laboratory to the accepting laboratory or receiving laboratory however the receiving laboratory must still be able to get the same results within the experiment error as the originating laboratory so the results of sending laboratory and the result of the 
receiving gravity should be match then the process that establishes documented evidence that the analytical methods works as well in a receiving laboratory as in the originator's laboratory or the transferring laboratory is called as a analytical method transfer means simply the method can be transferred from one laboratory to another laboratory first laboratory is a sending laboratory and second one is a receiving laboratory and this process is called as a amp means analytical method validation then the topic of amt has been addressed by both the american association of pharmaceutical scientists that is aaps in collaboration with fda and the european regulatory authorities that is eu and the pharmaceutical research and manufacturers of america so see analytical method transfer this can be addressed by both the aps and fda and eu and the pharmaceutical research and manufacturers of america that is phr ma so these four groups aps fda eu and phr ma all can addresses the process amt then the ilq process ilq means initially we have written the term in the longest form see here the internal laboratory qualification this is called as a ilq see anal amt means analytical method transfer amt process is what qualifies a laboratory to use an analytical testing procedure and the regulators want documented proof that this process was completed successfully only then can the receiving laboratory opt in good manufacturing practices that is a gmp and the reportable data from their laboratory so see analytical method transfer process which qualifies the laboratory to use the analytical procedure and regulators want documented proof that this process was completed successfully so a complete procedure checked procedure can be transferred from one laboratory to another laboratory and here amt qualifies this laboratory to use the procedure and a typical amt would take place between a research group that developed and a quality control group responsible for releasing finished products means r and d group and the quality control department are responsible for a amt then both the originator and the receiving laboratories have certain responsibilities and must make certain provisions in the amt processes before initiating the amt means analytical method transfer there are a few few pre transfer activities that must take place if not previously involved with the method the receiving laboratory should have opportunity to review the method before the transfer and the actually run the method to identify and the potential issues that might need to be resolved before finalizing the transfer protocol means before starting or initiating the analytical method transfer few steps are there few activities are there and if not previously involved with the method the receiving laboratory should have opportunity to review the method suppose initially the method is not involved the receiving laboratory should check or review the method before the transfer and to actually run the method to identify potential issues means you have a procedure you have to follow this procedure but before that this amp amp should be checked by a expert and then and then only you can see your results are good which compares with the standard results then the analytical method transfer options like many things in life a little up front investment prevents a multitude of problems later on the foundation of a successful amt is a properly developed and validated method of procedure and a good robustness study is certainly a development and validation so see in as in many cases a little up front investment prevents a multitude of problems later on so little 
savings will prevent the magnitude of the higher problem later on. The foundation of a successful AMT is a properly developed and validated method or procedure and a good robustness study is certainly a development and validation. The AMT process needs to involve more than receiving laboratory obtaining expected results from a representative sample because a single test is no indication of how a method will perform over time means the analytical method transfer which needs to involve more than one receiving laboratories not only one laboratory is there there are so many laboratories which obtains a expected results from representative sample because a single test is no indication of how a method will perform over a longer time and a single test also does not generate the data necessary to perform a proper statistical evaluations as you know when number of readings taken we are larger then their accuracy is then there will be greater accuracy or the accuracy is much more so single test does not involve a good statistical evaluation but when you have taken multiple readings at that time obviously the analysis will be better then there are several different ways or options for analytical method transfer and this include comparative testing complete or partial method validation or revalidation co-validation between the two laboratories and the omission of a formal transfer sometimes called a transfer waiver the choice of which option to use depends upon the stage of development and method is being used in the type of method and the experience and capabilities of the laboratory personnel see there are different ways which are included in the analytical method transfer so here are the main types of method transfer first one is a comparative testing complete or partial method validation then revalidation and the co-validation between two laboratories these are the few steps so first point is comparative testing comparative testing is the most co most common amt that is analytical method transfer which is commonly used method then it accomplishes two or more laboratories to perform a pre-approved protocol that details the criteria used to determine whether or not receiving laboratory is qualified to use the method being transferred so see you have a method which is validated then approved but then and then again you have to check the correctness of this method in the quality control department the data resulting from the joint exercise are compared against a set of predetermined acceptance criteria comparative testing also can be used in other pro in other post approval situations involving additional manufacturing sites or laboratories in general comparative testing is most often used for late stage methods and the transfer of the complex methods see what's written here comparative is method is widely used for analytical method transfer then it accomplishes at least two or three laboratories or more than three laboratories will be there for the pre-approval of a protocol then the resulting from, from the joint exercise are compared against a set of predetermined acceptance criteria and comparative testing is also used in the post approval situations then in general comparative testing is most often used for late stage methods and the transfer of more complex methods then the second point is co-validation between two laboratories a validated method is a prerequisite to amt the receiving laboratory from the beginning to perform a experiment the co-validation is important and this co-validation can be performed in between two laboratories so traditionally a validated method is a pre 
requisite to AMT. However, another option for AMT is to involve the receiving laboratory from the beginning in the actual validation process.